Hey folks, Technivorous here, and welcome to the channel. What an exciting time to be 3D printing. Today we are talking about what's coming down the pipe from Ultimaker and why it's a big deal. Now you saw on the thumbnail that we're going to be talking about Kira 5, and I want to point out that all this stuff that's grayed out right here, that's something you're going to have to get used to because there's a big change coming, and I'll explain it to you as we go through this video, so stick around. First, of course, Kira is a major player in the Slicer Arena with a ton of features, constant upgrades, and a great community of users and supporters. And that said, it's probably the leading slicer if you were to take a poll. So that's why it's so exciting to see these big changes coming. Now, usually, as I mentioned in a previous video, Kira is released on a pretty regular schedule. And this is about that time of year when they release a spring beta before an official release around the third week of April. Well, there's no beta. Uh, one of the Ultimaker devs, a gentleman called Jamie Van Kessel, noticed my post and let me know to my disappointment that there would be no beta. However, before I can make a video expressing my disappointment, I noticed another post from Mr. Kessel in a post by Chuck Hallibeck. Check this out. Okay, so this is basically saying that on the 21st they're announcing Kira 5, right? He's a developer, you can see right here for Ultimaker, and he's saying yes to Chuck asking him, will this be Kira 5? So on the 21st, they're having this Ultimaker showcase, and I'm very, very interested in the things that they're going to be talking about. So there's more. So let's check this out and see what the Ultimaker showcase is all about. It's a pretty short little blurb here. It simply says, get the first demo of features in the latest release of the world's most popular slicing application, all powered by a remarkable new software engine. Wait. Okay. Okay. Plus, an exciting solution that will bring 3D printing metal parts, what? Into the reach of more users than ever. Yeah, okay, you heard that right. So, they're saying that not only is Kira finally bringing the Arachne engine over into full Kira in the next release and calling it Kira 5.0, but they found a way to make desktop metal printing accessible to more users. Seriously? I, for one, will be watching the showcase. I need to know. I need to know. I'm so interested in what's going on here. So um, if Kira 5 is Kira with Arachne, well in that case it turns out that there is a beta and an alpha, which I've tested both of, but somehow I missed this. And this is the second release, the Kira Arachne Engine Beta 2. Now this was released in November of 2021 and yeah you can definitely try it out if you can't wait until the 21st to try out Kira 5 this is as close as you're gonna get right here so what's the big deal with Arachne you ask well let's take a little bit of a look at a close-up here so I'm gonna go over to this page here and you can see that on the left side here this is the original Kira engine and you can notice these small gaps all over the inner part of the structure here and here where it's having to come back and fill them this one didn't even get filled um, and then if you take a look at the arachne side, all of those are smoothed out. So what it's doing is it's using something called variable line width extrusion. So it's pumping out more plastic to make this line a little bit wider. Um, basically the way they sum this up is uh, uh, they put it pretty succinctly. Uh, and they say that right here. So let's say you want to print within a 4.4 millimeter wide space. The old engine with a constant one millimeter line width would leave a 0.4 millimeter gap, which is hard to fill. So that's where these gaps come from. Those can lead to structural integrity problems and other issues, as well as weak, other weakness in the part generally, and flaws as well in the print. So Arachne engine uses an adaptive line width slicing algorithm, which means you're printing at 1.1 millimeters for each line to ensure a perfect fill. And that's why there's no gaps on this side here. So it uh, works really well in tight spaces like this around angles, and it is a great, great addition. Now, uh, in some cases it uses less plastic, in some cases it uses slightly more, but the point is the part itself is of a higher quality because it is more accurately printed and it is completely filled. So a lot of structural integrity is coming from the strength they're putting into the new parts in Arachne. So that's gonna be great. Uh, so if you're a Technivore like me, be sure to check out the second beta. I will put this link down below. All you got to do is hit the download. I'm using the Beta 2 AMD 64 version. And yeah, if you like that, guys, be sure to subscribe. I'll put a video up in the corner here. I have a ton of Kira videos organized into help, helpful playlists like this one. 
and this one right here. So, of course, I'll be conducting a thorough test and review of Kira 5 officially when it releases, so don't miss it. For right now, let's take a look and see if they've added anything to the What's New section describing it here. Basically, um, it's describing entirely the new engine, and you're going to get groundbreaking quality, strength, and speed, they're saying. So, that's great. you got to realize also that when you aren't coming back to fill this gap in the wall, you're you're erasing a whole travel move here too so the time uh, reduction is gonna be there and it should be pretty decent so uh, yeah if you want to check on the beta they are still taking input although I'm pretty sure they're gonna release sometime around that April 21st because like I said that is the day they normally do an April release for Kira and if you found this video interesting stick around we've got a lot more coming I will see you in the next one folks Technivorous out